Hello there, boys and girls, chitlins of all ages. I'm George Francis, and today we are going to take you on a tour of my recently purchased Wanderer Glide Light travel trailer by Thor. It's a 27 foot trailer, it's really comfortable. And this is kind of my home away from home when I'm not on a tour bus on the road somewhere, or when I'm on a movie set doing a movie, or I just happen to be performing at a circus somewhere and I don't want to ride in that small gremlin 70s clown car with a bunch of midget clowns. But, anyways, uh, this thing's powered one of three different ways. 120 volts AC, comes off a shoreline. 12 volt DC, which comes off a car battery. And what we happen to be running it off right now are these two 20 pound LP gas cylinders. Uh, when I first got this thing, which is today's November 23rd, uh, I, I saw these and they kind of look really, really brittle and, and kind of hard to move. Uh, another thing I didn't like is when they're on here, you gotta take a wrench to get them off and it's not something I want to do in the middle of winter. So I'm just like throwing those out and putting on these quick disconnects. So three turns this way, puts it on, three turns this way, takes it off. Um, I've got a nice little uh, regulator here that's also, it's a manual selector, which you can manually select it. And supposedly if you turn both of these on, it'll automatically select the other cylinder when this one runs out, which is a good thing because you might be asleep in the middle of the night in the winter time and it gets kind of cold in this thing so you want it to do what it's supposed to do automatically another thing this is powered by is this this 12 volt car battery and what that does is it powers all the little dc appliances and and the lights and things like that so that's pretty cool it's it's charged when it's plugged into ac and uh, you, you put your 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 tanks on here and it's real easy to do. And then they come with this nice little cover. Goes on like that. So it's pretty nice. Uh, also, you have a nice little window here, which we'll show you on the inside uh, in just a second. That's uh, right where the bed is, so you can check out and see what's going on. Uh, so let's go around the corner here. We've got storage for all kinds of things like uh, your toilet things and your your water and just extra stands to jack it up, uh, maybe electrical or whatever. So you've got storage right there. Um, and then this is called a slide out. What that means is it slides out. It's got a little slide out compartment on it. Uh, your newer models uh, have a little button motorized and it comes out. This happens to be a 99 and so 1999 model so it doesn't have a motor in it so it's, it's pretty easy to do uh, you take the locks off on the inside just grab onto this and it just slides out real easy like that so that's that's kind of cool uh, then you have these little adjustable arm keepers whatever you want to call them um, I've labeled them right and left so I'll know which ones to put on there. You just slide them on right there. Yeah, like so. I can get this one on here. And it, and it keeps it. Uh, go over here. Get another one. These things are adjustable so you know if you have a little slack in them you can just you know change it. Uh, and they just slide on like this and they're ready to go won't go anywhere uh, the back of your refrigerator here this is where you, uh, you know, do your servicing and you can open it up and this is where you light your refrigerator because it's gas slash electric so you, you light your refrigerator and do all your servicing right there so that's that's really neat and then you've got your nice cute little steps which you know are they can fold up and go in there you have a door with a deadbolt on it and a lock what's nice about this door is it's got a little clip that stays open like that and also you have a screen door so that's that's pretty cool uh, got some uh, AC plugs right there plugging in some stuff right there um, we're gonna go around the other side of the trailer here uh, here's your furnace slash hot water heater for you know your hot water 
and basically you light it right there and uh, it's got a lot of a lot of ladybugs in there but you light it and it, it takes care of itself um, various levels and stuff all over the trailer so when you set it up you can make it level extra spare tire uh, turlets a really important one you're on the road so as you can see right here we have a toilet dump line sewer or whatever slash dark water line and it comes out goes down a little snake and goes into uh, an underground septic tank which is kind of cool then you've got your exhaust for your furnace which is the heat inside there fresh water connection what you do right there is you hook a garden hose up there and leave it turned on uh, you have a nice little outdoor shower as well and you know you could use that for when you're like at a lake or whatever and you got to wash off here's your 120 volt service it's just a shoreline that plugs into you know house current and then you have a water tank and what this is is about a 30 40 gallon water tank that's under one of the seats in the kitchen area that way you know you can have you know water while you're on the road and it's not hooked up to anything uh, another storage area uh, more storage there and basically that's that's it right there so now we're gonna go inside the trailer and take a look there so here we are at the door of the trailer we're gonna go inside and take a look and uh, the screen door opens up like that and we walk in and the first thing we see is a kitchen area and this right here is a gas stove and it's very nice with its little sink there and you've you know you've got your little uh, you know another thing there right there um, you've got a uh, basically a systems monitor this is what you check you know your fresh water with and and your battery see it says it's good uh, you got the water pump for when you're on the road what that does is it powers a little pump in the uh, water tank um, you've got a little you know hood fan and headlights and uh, nice microwave oven there and got a stove so you can cook all your riddles. Right below the stove is your heat. This is a gas heater and works on either 12 volts DC or uh, AC. So, and, and it runs, of course, off the propane. Um, that is controlled by your thermostat, which is right there. Um, basically, um, you've got another appliance over here, which is your well, I just bumped my head. <laughs> this is your, your refrigerator. Um, you've got a nice big refrigerator and nice ice box, which is kind of the freezer part of the things there. It's also powered by gas or electric. And right above there is like a little place to put like a small 13 inch TV. Um, you've got your connections for, you know, cable and, and power and on the top of the roof is an antenna and you can raise it up by turning this knob and you can change the direction of the antenna so you can find out you know where you want it to go so basically that's kind of cool uh, it's a real roomy trailer uh, behind here as I say turlets are in, are important when you're on the road here's your bathroom and as you can see you've got all the amenities of home you've got a nice sink got a nice toilet right there and right there got a nice picture of a flower you know while you're trying to concentrate you can relax and look at that picture of your flower um, got a nice medicine cabinet with mirror wow that's a really good looking guy hey how you doing uh, medicine cabinet uh, here's something very important this opens up like that and it's a 12 volt poop fan so you know when you've had some spicy Mexican that comes in handy uh, here's your uh, your bathtub slash shower has hot and cold water so that's really nice 
and you've got your shower curtain of course that comes along right with that so that's that's very nice there uh, let's see what else will we have here okay well here's the dining area and that's basically self-explanatory right there um, that turns into a bed this is a couch and this also slides out into a bed and um, so you can basically seat six people here's the master bedroom as you call it and when I say master bedroom I mean master bedroom because right over here you have a nice little thing there nice little drape comes across there and you have a nice little room to yourself so that's really nice you've got storage on either side of the bed with electrical uh, plug-ins and you know you can put a clock radio there or whatever and this is a slide out here which is completely slid out and now we're going to convert these things into beds and see what those look like so now we are going to convert the seating areas into sleeping areas first of all what you do is you take your Julie Andrews Sound of Music placemats put them over there uh, these little cushions come off like that really easy to do real quick to do then the leg goes up like that this comes out like this drops down like that and then you put your cushions on the top of that one thing I wanted to show you before we do the cushions thing is here's the portable uh, potable water tank this is about 40 gallons it's got a DC motor in it that runs off of AC and DC you can run this when you're not hooked up to service so you, there's your drinkable water and then things like that so when your mom tells you to make your bed this is the quickest way to do it little jigsaw puzzle goes together like this then you got yourself a bed right there so real quick way to convert a bed out there um, you've got your storage of course up here which you know there's storage all over the trailer you got storage up above your head you could put anything in there of course we've got another seating area we can change into a bed really quick way to do it move those this comes up like that and then this goes flat and then you've got another bed so this basically seats sleeps six comfortably and you know you've got your your heater down there on the floor of course up above you during the summertime months you've got your air conditioner and basically it's an AC unit and you've got your you know standard controls uh, this one's got high medium low fan speeds and and the compressor speeds nice optional heat there so that cuts down on your gas usage so if you happen to be hooked up to AC you can you know use that so that's a pretty cool thing also while I got you down here underneath one of the seating areas is the this is the power center of the whole trailer basically distribution power you've got your breakers for AC then you've got your DC fuses and then of course the gas takes care of itself so that's pretty cool one thing I did think about I was thinking about putting a 13 inch TV up here viewing you know watch my TV shows but then when I got all the way over here and started thinking I'm gonna watch my TV I'm not gonna be able to see it from here so I started making measurements and I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put me a nice you know flat screen right here maybe 32 inch flat screen right there so everyone will be able to view their favorite TV shows comfortably um, I like Bugs Bunny cartoons so that'll work for me okay one thing we should talk about is your safety devices built into the trailer first we've got a smoke detector right here so in case of a fire that will go off uh, then we've got a thing down here which is our fire extinguisher because Lord knows I'm flammable so uh, we've got that and then should we have a gas leak with the stove we have an LP liquid propane uh, detector 
which this does is it smells the propane leak and since it's low to the ground it'll it'll uh, catch it really quick and set off an alarm and hopefully wake people up and tell them to get out of the trailer so basically that's what you get right there it's the 27 foot long wanderer glad light trailer by thor really good trailer I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, feel free to leave any questions, comments, or suggestions about other future videos or this video for right uh, now. So thanks for watching. I'm George Francis, and we'll see you again next time.